Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Timberborn. So, in our last episode, we just started a drought right at the end of the episode. But, I'm thinking we should be fine today. I'm thinking we should be absolutely fine, because as these run out, I will dro just drop these by a meter. I'll probably go half a meter, just so I don't flood everything. I am curious as to why this now doesn't get water. I swear it got water before. I do not know. Anyway, anyway, we've got our food supply up and running up here now. It seems to be working well. Things seem to be getting transferred between here. And what have you got in stock? Grilled potato logs, paper, planks. Well, we know paper's coming up here because, you know, we've got paper up here. Um... District distribution limits. I went through and changed a few of these, so I want up to 100. I want up to 50 of those, because apparently I've got that set to 100. 100 of those, 100 of those, 100 paper, 100 planks. And that's about it for now. Everything else goes the other way. Um, ma, 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 ma. What else do we need? We're okay for wood. We're okay for water at the minute. It just depends how quickly they're going to start pumping all this water. There's loads of water up there. Don't panic. Don't panic. Um, right. What do we want to start doing today then? Because um, really... I actually think food production should be completely up this way. Like, completely, completely. You know, a nice little dam into that bit would be rather cool. Um, but I'm thinking as though I've got dynamite, which I'm assuming blows up tiles. At least I hope it's blowing up tiles over that way as well. So if we want food production to be up this way, maybe we do it along this route that goes out. What's being shipped this way? Uh, you're taking one potato, you're taking one potato, you're taking... Do you all really have to take single potatoes? So, that would mean we're going to need power up here. And that's why I don't want to do it, because I've just increased the amount... Oh, no, screw it. We've got plenty of food production down this way. It just means we've got to get it to them. So, in that case, then... Look at all the wheat we've got. Right, these need to be high priority now. We've really not got that much in the way of power surplus. Oh, it's because this has all stopped, hasn't it? It's fine. It's fine. Right. And you're on high priority as well. Can't get the materials required. Um, why? We have plenty of logs. Have you seen how many unemployed people I've got at this point? We need a gear. They're making gears, but where the bloody hell are they going? I've got 72 gears and they're all up this way at the minute. Yeah, but they're actually making gears down here. Are they going into here now? No. Let's watch. So you're making a gear. It's not going into the carousel, is it? That's not the carousel. No, it's not going into there. Oh, is it going into... It's coming across here. Because I wanted a massive uh, increase in water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, at the end of last episode as well, I expanded this out more, so we've got even more wood storage up there. Absolutely loads of wood. Absolutely loads. And there's absolutely loads of water as well. I mean, that does kind of need gears. We need this, though, because we need bread. We're okay for potatoes, but look at all that bloody wheat. That needs turning into flour, and then that needs cooking. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to start on the new district today, if I'm being completely honest with you. The metalworking district. Because I th kind of think we need metal to be able to start moving forward properly. 
Yeah, at night time it does die off a little bit. We've got all this dam to start building as well. Absolutely loads of planks needed for that. Yeah, we should only have 100 planks up here. Hopefully they'll stop sending all the gears up this way now. That I've changed the rules around a little bit. How are you guys actually doing for food up here? Not too good, honestly. Not too good. Um, bread. I think we'd like up to 200 and up to 200. You know what? Turn carrots on. I want up to 200. We're not sending carrots down to... There, are we? Um, no, we're not. So actually turning the carrots on like that is a bad idea. We don't want to limit on the carrots. Just keep the carrots for yourself. Um, district limits. These need at least, I think, 100 bread. 500. They need at least 100 carrots and 500. They need at least 100 grilled potatoes. Mm. That is quite a bit of potatoes. And they are cooking through them relatively quickly. We need even more farms, don't we, as well? Leave that on 50. Leave that on 50. Ooh. There we go. 50. Yeah, that's fine. So the way I see it is, this is what we need in the village before it distributes, and then this is... If it's above that limit, we'll get rid of it. Oh, oh no, sir. If we've got more than that, they won't send any into here. Um, have you got this finished yet? Because I kind of need cogs going elsewhere. You don't lay me into these. I could delete this road and make another cog factory. Do I really want to? It would mean they'd have to go this way around. And how are we doing for the pathway? Eh, it would it would reach. Tell you what then. Oh, something I got told. Delete buildings. Bam. Yes. That is loads nicer. Um, wood right there. We need a gear workshop right there. I could actually have another one there. The thing is, do we think we need more planks or more gears? At the minute, we've got way more planks than we need. Excuse me. Let's put that on high priority as well. This needs metal blocks to be built. Surely that water pump tank's been built by now. Yeah, it has. 3,000 water. These guys are doing dead well. One minute. Just to turn that off, it's getting mighty warm in here. Um, 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 um. How are you guys doing for water? You've got a fair few barrels full. You've got 1,200 up here. And you've still got water. You've still got water. Oh, they've just run out of water. So let's drop this by half a meter. And then there's that much water in this half a meter. That should cause a surge through here. Causing these to not die off. Oh, I probably should have noticed that sooner. Drop this by half a meter. I'm not losing a load of food again. And then that's emptying out a lot of this. So let's drop that another half a meter. It's all right. It's fine. So this one needs to go back up a meter. That one needs to go back up half a meter down there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, well, we've got 5.5 days remaining. And look at that. We've basically topped all the water back up. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's going to be even better when we built all this. Even better, because that's going to be a, a rather large reservoir. We could go a step further and try and get all the way down there and barricade this and make a giant lake. Because that is all like two tiles wide. A lot way around. 
Yeah, it needs to go all the way down here. Now, would I actually be able to just levy it in? I don't think I would. I think that'd end up flooding things. I think what we'd have to do is we'd have to make this into a dam on that level. And a floodgate on that level. It'd have to be too tall then. And then if it's thoughts overflowing, we'd be fine. You know what? Let's see if we can do that. Um, I can bring the road further down from there. You go like that. You go like that. You go like that. And give me a path. If I can make a giant lake at this end of the map, then that's going to just be even better. And let's set these to be high priority as well. Uh, they've got the water tank filled up. They've got... Where are all the gears going to now? Into there. So I've not imported any of these yet. Keep checking the water. Keep checking the water. That's why you need to keep checking the water. Die in point four days. No, they won't. What are we on? 4.8 days. Hmm. I seem to have lost all my wheat. Crap. It's alright, we've got like five farmers around this area. Ooh. Have another burst of water. So there's not as much water stored up up there as I first thought. And you've got to think, a lot of the water behind here, we're not actually going to be able to get to. Right. <clears throat> you guys need to stop uh, pumping. Because that's another thing. We're, we're still pumping massive amounts of water out of the river. And with the amount we've got stored up, I don't think we actually need to pump anymore. Uh, let's just run the game on low. We don't need to have it completely paused while I'm doing this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. That's it. 55 unemployed people. Yeah, we need to do something about this. It's just my food's not great. Look at all that wheat, then. I don't want a completely separate section just for um, cutting wheat. Cutting wheat, grinding up wheat. Building needs power. Can't work with that power... There is no wind or anything at the minute. Yeah, that's a slight problem. Really? Oh, yeah, Christ. That needs to go all the way back up. Because this needs to come all the way down. Otherwise, I'm just letting water out. No! Oh. We've got a bit of a yin-yang thing going off with our wheat. Four days left. Well, on the plus side, they're not pumping water anymore. Which is always good. But how long will this water last? Because we've got 3.9 days left. Now, at the minute, it's the cogs that's screwing us and not the amount of wheat we've got. We do kind of need more potatoes, to be honest with you. I thought this would be a decent demand. Apparently not. Apparently not. They can't turn it into enough potatoes quickly enough. I hope that water's enough to last. These guys down here are fine. Guys up top kind of snuffed it. Oh, they built that. Cool. Let's see how far out we can get this path to go. So it's a mighty long way. I'm obviously going to need more districts further down. 
go to about there. And obviously building the path down here is just going to be dead stupid. So that gets to about there. If I build another district, I'm not going to name this district because it's kind of a cheese it district. If I built that right there. And I deleted that one right there and had a um, district gate right there. This is going to need steps coming down to it. And a road. Which it's going to need to be high priority. Am I going to have to have trade centers? Uh, yeah. Distribution centers set up across here as well. My great population to District 4. Just give me like 20. And will they come and build this? They're going to walk straight round here. They need logs and planks. So in that case, I think we are going to need the distribution centres. Dist yeah, distributes goods to other districts. Receives goods from other districts. Let's have that right there. And I'd like you to receive... Can I just turn all the... No, I've got to do it individually, fair enough. Turn everything off. I want planks. I want logs. Um, I want up to 50 planks. I don't want loads. And I want up to... Just do 100 logs for now. And to be fair, we probably need one of the um, distribution centers. Um, you know, I might end up leaving this here anyway. Just because we could always have other districts coming off this way, living around the river. Which would be kind of cool. Right, in that case then, you guys all migrate back to Stevens' place. Yeah, for now, because you've not got any wood or anything. And we need people to be able to build this up. Cogs still aren't coming in very quickly. And by cogs, I mean gears. You know what I mean. Leave me alone. Same as power's not really coming in very quickly. How? Oh, because we've still got no... Um, 2.7 days left. And that water looks very thin. I th think I turned the water pumping off a little bit too late. We, we might just have to lose some wheat. Yeah, we're probably just going to have to lose some wheat. In fact, our little pool right here died as well. What's wrong with you? You're hungry? You're carrying potatoes? Don't tell me they've got no food up here. They've got loads of potatoes up here. Loads of potatoes. There goes the water. That's going to die in 0.9 days. 1.8 days. One point, yeah, all the farms are going to die. So long as we can get turning some of this wheat into flour into bread, it's not going to be a problem. I, I probably shouldn't have deleted both of the uh, the mills to start with. Oh, that's already done. Um, add new route to there. And that's going to be logs. Okay. Add new route to there. That's going to be planks. Okay. Beavers can't distribute goods. Why can't they? Some routes are not functioning. What? Why are why are some routes not functioning? Oh, because of the stairs. 
That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Do I need a hauling post? Oh, that's within a district. How about if we build the stairs closer across this way? I think I know what I need to do. I need to build a sort, don't I? To expand the range. And this needs to move from there, probably across this way. Um, let's try that then, shall we? That can go there. Pathway can go there. Pathway can go there. Some routes are not functioning. It is fine. Give me a builder's hut. Where does this district reach up to? About there. Go right there. And then we can build the path further across uh, this way. Like that, and that, and that. This needs to be high priority. Come on, you got the other one built, Ed, quickly. As soon as we can get them stairs built, I think this will be fine. Imagine if we could make all this a, a proper river. Lake. It'll be a lake. How are we doing for water here? Dan, he is fine for water. I, they, these guys didn't need this much water. That's why. It's the first time using the Mega Dam. I screwed up. Okay. Leave me alone. Do I really need this dam all the way across here now? I do because I want to keep the water around here, but I don't really, do I? If I'm doing this giant project instead. Or do I need just some more planks? They're getting there. Windmills aren't even doing anything. Why is it that when there's no water in the lakes, there is no wind or anything? It's just literally nothing. Nothing at all. And your gears are getting there. It's taking forever. Well, it will do because there's no bloody power. <laughs> oh, dear. I literally just said it. There's no power. I wonder how much land this is going to revitalize when I do this. So, what did I say at the start? I, I wanted to um, get the next district done this episode. I didn't mean this district. That one didn't come to mind. And now, if we can start getting flower stockpiled, that's going to be good. You guys are hungry. We've got food down here. We've not got much food down here, but we've got food down here. Now, these guys, they're close to starving. Anything past 50, anything past 50, anything past 50. Add new route up to here. Carrots. District distribution. 50 up to 500. Do accept carrots. Up to 200. Woo! I'm used to some games just deleting that box when you click on it. I don't know why. I, I just can't get it to work. Can we send some gears back, please? Because you don't, you guys don't need all these gears. I want to keep 50 gears here at all times. Don't accept years if more than 50, and we need at least 50 before we give them back. Because that would get my mills finished. Ugh, the potatoes are running out. They should actually get carrots coming in soon, though. Right, on the plus side, they just got rid of all their gears. We're down to 50 now. Stock. Nothing in there. And we don't need you sending gears anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Please don't start starving. 
You guys have got carrots and stuff, right? Oh, berries, berries, berries. I need to do berries. Add new root to there. Berries. Okay. Um, save me at least 50. 500. What did he just say to me? Um, berries... Zero up to... 200? Come on, support each other. Right, this needs to go right back up for now. And this is already right back up. If I leave it there, it floods, doesn't it? It's got to be 1.5. I think it's got to be 1.5. Am I going to have to test this again? Does that work how I wanted it to? I don't think it does. Employs additional builders. Extend its range by building paths. I've built paths. Mm. Let's try it again. Yeah, that doesn't get any longer. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. It's going to have to go to just there. Which then means I don't think we're going to reach all the way over there. Looking at how far this district is from there. It doesn't cost anything to build these. So it costs four wood. Actually... Can I not just have this in the water? Why are you doing it like that? Yes. No. That was meant to be yes. That might actually work better. So, let's set them trade routes up again. Add new route to the logs. That's better. Add new route to the planks. Turn everything off. Well, actually, I don't need to turn everything off, do I? They're only transporting them to materials. Um, I want up to 100 planks and 100 logs. Let's go 50 planks. That seems fair. So I don't think I actually need that. Nobody employed. Doesn't say anything about we can't do that. Uh, migrate 10 beavers down there. Let's go. The drought has ended. Good. So not all of our food died off. Um, I just need to be more careful next time with the water flow. Yeah, it's fine. Look, we've got bread coming in there. Ooh, did them cog get put to good use? Yes, they did. Finally, they're turning this into flour and the two bakeries can start kicking into gear. Everybody, bread. Enjoy your bread. Uh, and we might as well get this next windmill being built because I think power's going to be cutting it a bit fine. Yeah, it is. Right. Here comes water. We've lost all these. They, these are mega dead by this point. It's fine. Let's let the reservoir build up. Uh, I, I need you to fill up more than that. It's alright. It'll take a while. I, I can't believe I got through that much water. Really? 
And yet, you know, if I'd have put some effort in and built a path out and built up to there, well, actually, no, I couldn't have built up to there because the lowest point is right there. I would have had to have built levees all the way up and around here as well. Here we go. It's all going to come back to life now. Again, I'm fairly sure if I put this up to three meters, it floods everything. That looks like it's trying to flood everything. Yeah, now. <laughs> it's all right. We're just watering the farms a little bit quicker by flooding them. Uh, that's fine like that. And then it'd be the same situation down here. I can't bring that up. I wish the camera wouldn't snap to that height. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Oh, crud. Yeah. Oh, we've proper... Oh, my days. We've flooded everything. This is what you get when you play around with the dams too quickly. Whoopsie. It's fine. Oh, I guess we best get these all um, kicked off and going again then. I've got to be careful because the beavers down in the other place will just starve to death. Should we give some... some br gives them? I turned German for a second there. Speaking English with a German accent. Um... Shall we send them some bread down there? It's fine. The water will recede. Nobody panic. Oops. Double click that one. Let's send them some bread. We're nice like that. Add new route. Across that way. Bread. Yes. How much bread are we keeping back before we send any? 50? Yeah. Um, they don't need much over here. Yeah, this is all about to get flooded. I hope it still works when it's been flooded. Just give me like 50 bread. Luckily, we're playing a game that is beavers. No! So I can only do that in a drought at the minute. Oh, well that sucks. I wanted them to all build this. And our district does actually reach down there, doesn't it? Yeah. And we would need some stairs. Coming up either sides down here. We will flood the entire map. Well, that's not my intention to flood the entire map like, but you know what I mean. Um, resources, they would need marked for destruction as well. So would these actually looking at it. Yeah. So really, I've not done that much this episode other than sit and watch drought. Next time we do this then, the next when the next drought kicks in, we need to build these up off here. So once we can get resources in, we need to build stairs coming up and put our district centre on the top here. Seems like a plan, right? Really? That's all the food we've got? Oh, 90's there. Are these guys starving? Mm, they've got no food at all. There we go. We just had a load of bread come in. It was just waiting in the centres. It's fine. It's fine. Um, these are all topped up. That wood pile is full. Oh, yeah. I was meant to be having the... Um, the thingamajig up there, wasn't I? Rooftop terrace, right there. And these guys all wanted rooftops. We've had a nice bit of decoration in here. Make it all pretty. Oh, god damn it. Can I not click and drag these? No, no, I cannot. Damn it! You go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. That's the ticket. There we go. Right. Well, we are about at time. You know what? I'm going to turn these on now as well. Let's get them pumping water into here properly. Because it's not like we've not got plenty of water coming through. It's uh, it's all flowing rather nicely. We just need to get food back on track. Look at all the flour we've got now. I wonder if two bakeries can keep up. And they need logs as well. Well, we've got plenty of logs. Have we got plenty of power? 1700 power. You know what? 
while we're in a good spell, let's unpause these and the next episode they can start building these up as well. Then hopefully we won't keep running out of power. We do need to start this new district though so I can get metal coming in. So, I keep saying I want to do that next episode. I need to get food sorted. I'm scared of food at the minute. I need even more potatoes coming in. I want another f food district. But setting up more districts means you need more food anyway. I'm going around in a vicious cycle now. Pause the game. God damn it. So, that's where we're going to leave off for today's episode. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All the comments and feedback greatly appreciated, as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.